Hello everyone, I'm Josh Rubenstein, Public Information Director for the Los Angeles Police Department. This critical incident community briefing is intended to provide you with information about an officer-involved shooting that occurred in the city of Whittier on March 31st, 2020. You're about to see relevant video footage and learn about other evidence and police procedures related to this case so you can have a better understanding of what occurred based on what we know right now. The LAPD conducts very thorough use of force investigations, which typically require investigators to interview multiple witnesses, view numerous hours of video footage, and analyze a significant amount of forensic evidence. We're still at the very early stages of this investigation, which can often take up to a year to complete, and our understanding of the incident may change as this additional evidence is collected, analyzed, and reviewed. We also do not draw any conclusions about whether the officers acted consistent with our policies and the law until all the facts are known and the investigation is complete. A word of caution. The images and information you're about to see may be disturbing. When a police officer uses force to arrest a suspect or defend against an attack, it can be graphic and difficult to watch. In addition, there may be strong language used by those shown in the video. Viewer discretion is advised, especially for young children and sensitive viewers. Hello, I'm Captain Gisela Espinoza of Media Relations Division of the Los Angeles Police Department. I'm going to give you a brief overview of an incident that occurred on March 31st, 2020, around 5.08 p.m. Officers assigned to the Metropolitan Division Crime Impact Team were conducting a follow-up investigation in an unincorporated area of the city of Whittier. While conducting surveillance, officers were approached by a male suspect, later identified as 31-year-old Cesar Lopez. Officers observed Lopez pull a handgun from his duffel bag and point the gun at one of the officers resulting in an officer-involved shooting. Here is the radio call and broadcast from this incident. Hey, Point, just be advised, uh, there's two male Hispanics walking northbound your way, your side of the street. Uh, they walked southbound earlier. One's a heavy build male Hispanic, gray shirt, and the other one is a, a thin build male Hispanic, blue jacket. They're just looking into cars. All right, Point, they're past us. Hey, anybody north be advised the heavy set male Hispanic with the gray shirt and the backpack on his right side? About 80% sure he's got a pistol in his hand. Got his head on his swivel, uh, just keeping his hand in the bag. Right. It's on top of the bag right now, so just use caution. Raj, they checked us out about an hour ago when they came down. Well, more so checked out the van. They can't see him, but yeah, he's definitely got the pistol out of the bag, though. Raj, I have him walking northbound. Perfect. I found a street. He has a I think white shirt has a bag over his uh across his shoulder. The heavy set, gray bag. Send in photo now. Yeah, Raj, you got eyes on. Raj, yeah, he's looking around. Continuing northbound west side of the street. And the other one is wearing dark over dark, walking in the street. Hey, shout out to off duty. Help! He's behind the... Hey, guys, come northbound. Come northbound from the target location, north of Beatty. Officer needs help. Roger, what's the location? Where you at him, it's going to be... Um, let LASO know, please. A black gun here. Oh, Victor, stop, 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 stop. All units, officer needs help. I know metro unit shots fired. All units, officer needs help. I know metro unit, officer needs help. It's in LA County. LA County will be notified. Train to come in on City Y Tax 5, Channel 47. The officers involved in this incident were not equipped with body worn video cameras. You will now see residential surveillance video that shows Lopez approach the officers with a gun in his hand.
Lopez was struck by gunfire and taken into custody without further incident. Los Angeles County Fire Department paramedics responded to the scene and transported Lopez to a local hospital where he was admitted for treatment of a single gunshot wound. Lopez was subsequently booked into the Men's Central Jail County Hospital Ward. Investigators recovered Lopez's loaded semi-automatic handgun at the scene and booked it as evidence. Cesar Lopez is a 31-year-old resident of Whittier. On April 2, 2020, Los Angeles County Deputy District Attorney's Office filed the following charges against Lopez. One count of assault with a deadly weapon on a peace officer and one count of ex-convict with a gun. In the next several months, the LAPD will continue to investigate and analyze this incident. They'll continue interviewing any new witnesses that may come forward and complete forensic tests. After the investigation is completed, our Critical Incident Review Division will forward their findings to the Chief of Police, who will make his recommendation to the Civilian Board of Police Commissioners. The Board will evaluate the evidence to determine whether the officer's tactics, drawing and exhibiting of a weapon, and use of deadly force in this instance met the high standards expected of all LAPD officers. If you'd like more information on how the LAPD and the LA District Attorney's Office investigates all officer-involved shootings and other serious uses of force, visit lapdonline.org, where you can also find LAPD's use of force policies and procedures. Thank you for taking the time to view this critical incident community briefing.